Sir, the biggest companies are taking your dot. Next week is Polkadot Decoded. It's like the Super Bowl of Polkadot. Some of the most influential companies in the world are sending their people to speak on the main stage. Deloitte, one of the big four accounting firms, their Misha Bitarelli will present with Ingo Rube from Polkadot's Kilt Network. They also just opened up a discussion in the Polkadot Treasury after announcing their KYC partnership with Kilt. David Palmer from Vodafone, Maurice O'Benny from Heathrow Airport, they'll be on stage with Alan Vey of Polkadot's Aventus, fresh off that NFT deal with Wolf of Wall Street. Energy Web's Anna Tripovich with the European Commission's Joachim Schwerin. Beatport, huge DJ ecosystem, is sending Ed Hill. John Linden will be presenting from Mythical. Their NFL game, porting to Polkadot soon, just hit 1 million downloads. The announcements on the stages of this event you cannot miss. And the best way to see it all is by downloading the Polkadot Events app. Link above or below. That will get you a free digital ticket for streams of all four stages over both days. And there could be a free pizza watch party in your area. America's has finished. Congrats to the team. Utils 2 is approaching an initial art is teased. Proof of Chaos still alive? Snake Soldiers lore begins. Kusama Dragon's founder updates a journey of lost funds, depression, and candy? Dremica is a MMORPG on Moonsama with the promise of PvP, looting, and skilling. Looks pretty cool. Donnie teases some fun with Lion Cubs and open core team meetings to NFT holders. Moonsama reminds players to craft their moon swords. Earn with Mandala staking. Buddy's Payday of dot royalties have been sent out. Secondary market is open for zombies. Glimmer Apes with new tokenomics and an updated roadmap after 100k games played. Exiled Racers share some winner stats. Teddy Dow launches with a press release. Several, actually. Don't forget to build your own Teddy. Nero Launch believes they'll make Marvel envious. Ayuna, aside from being everywhere, is on their last bit of Season 2 onboarding as they've already been testing with their ambassadors. Everloot is running their first GBM auction on Singular for their first property on Everloot, where you get paid if you get outbid. Looking strong at 3850 Glimmer at the time of writing. A Star Sandwich is partnering with Re Monsters for a playable game, and has announced that their manga will be serialized by webcomic Apanda starting June 25th. I'm keeping an eye on this A0 game project that's minting. Did you vote for if Affinity Chain should migrate off Polkadot to their fork chain? Veil of Time will be revealing some exciting developments soon, but in the short term they'll be removing the game in July and offering a downloadable version. Save your progress before then. Kododot's proposal to take over Remark 2.0 on Kusama looks like it might not make it, but they believe migrating to Polkadot is the answer. The goal is actually if we even want to migrate those Remark 2 NFTs, we still have to index them and basically make the implementation, right? So if we want to even migrate them, then we still have to kind of wrap it around and then make the migration. It's all from me. On to you, Cisei. As we navigate the auctions on the sister chains, the slow burn to the beginning of July continues to roll on as Invarch and Peak await the next auction to begin. Over on Kusama, we've got a few chains looking to up their Kusama slot at the time of writing, with most agreeing that about 500k sim is the value of a tier slot these days. On to other news, as EZA's slick app to expose young devs to Polkadot has moved on from Harvard to London, while Polkadot Study, an intuitive platform to help developers learn more about Polkadot, has gone live, and Nova just released the name of their new desktop application. Pendulum partners with regulatory-friendly banking project Scallop, and Zeitgeist is encouraging users to utilize that dot on their prediction market app. Yo, have you been DCAing on Hydra? I bet Gav is. And finally, the Moonbeam Accelerator is near completion with the 10 lucky teams to be demoed early next month. Another banger week. Have a great weekend, everybody.